For the past three days now, Manoir de la Vallée has been the focus of a rapid response team sent in to test residents and staff for COVID-19. The results, not encouraging. Today, there are three new cases of COVID-19 in the province. These cases, and one reported yesterday, have all been confirmed in residents of the Manoir de Vallée long-term care facility in Athelville. The home has 51 residents with varying levels of care. Four residents and one staff member are now known to be infected with the virus. Three are in hospital, one in intensive care. I understand the stress that this is causing for residents and staff of the Manoir and their families. An outbreak in a senior's home is everyone's greatest fear. It's a dramatic setback in a province that has, until now, managed to keep the COVID genie in its bottle. Out of 61 care homes, this outbreak is the first breach in those defences. And in another startling development, Premier Blaine Higgs acknowledged today that since Friday, a third of the Manoir staff have left their jobs. 10 out of 28. And um, they, they felt it necessary to, to leave the facility, which is concerning because, uh, you know, at a, at a time like this, it, it's important that, um, you know, we, we, we have everyone there to, to do what we can. Why they've left, says the Manoir's owner, is simple. Fear of COVID-19. As soon as the staff learn that COVID is around, many of them are just scared about that. Advocates for nursing home residents are frightened too, worried that now COVID has a toehold in the province, it will spread to other care homes. This is actually quite a setback. I'm really concerned that once they open the doors, it's going to spread. There are now 12 active cases of COVID-19 in the province, all of them in the Campbellton region. And as public health officials warn, there will be more. Harry Forrestal, CBC News, Fredericton.